What does it mean when the battery is mark 9 volts? If we have battery, let's say a 9 volt battery, usually it's a square one, a uh, square, sorry, rectangle one. One side is like that, the other side is like this. See before or not? Mark 9 volt means on the battery's body, they write there 9.0 volt. That 9.0 is what the, the EMF is. Not what you actually would get in a circuit, but EMF, okay, EMF. So if you connect a voltmeter standalone, like take a voltmeter, poke to this side, poke to this side, you will read 9 volts. But when you connect it to the circuit, you realize that actually you may not always get 9 volts. If you assume your battery got no internal resistance, ah, like this. Okay, this is the battery. Then whatever EMF you have, 9 volts. Okay, wrong color. 9 volt will be given to the external resistor, 9 volt. But if your battery has internal resistance, Ooh, you may not get 9 volt for your external circuit. In this case, the external circuit only got one resistor. Lah. I just create these values. So let's look through the solutions. A says, each coulomb of charge from the battery supplies 9 joule to the whole circuit. So that's the definition of EMF in general, lah, energy. So 9 joules to the whole circuit, including internal resistance, if any. That sounds okay. Including internal resistance. So these batteries, they have some chemical reaction happening inside the EMF. Okay, then you create the energy and send to the circuit. So yeah, EMF 9 volt means 9 joule per coulomb for the whole circuit, including internal resistance. Possibly correct. Let's look at B first. B says the battery supplies 9 joule to an external circuit for each coulomb of charge. Now, this one got a bit of a problem already because you are saying 9 joules for the external. But wait, if there's internal resistance, means you have lost energy. This internal resistor will have lost volts. We usually say V loss. Ah. Battery get hot, nah, energy loss. Ah. So actually, oh, what is given to the external circuit, which is just one resistor, is going to be less than 9 volt already. So cannot say 9 joule. It should be less than 9 joule. Curse of energy lost. Thanks, internal resistance. So cannot, should be less than 9 joules. C says the potential difference across any component connected to the battery will be 9 volts. Hmm. Not always true. Not always true. If you look at scenario 1, EMF 9 volt. Connect to this battery, 9 volt. That is because there's no internal resistance. But sometimes, I mean, you can assume batteries have internal resistance. If you have internal resistance, you already lose some energy. Maybe say I lost, uh, lost, lost how much? Ah? Lost 1 volt. Okay, I lose 1 volt already. So what comes out of the battery is 9 minus 1. So this poor resistor here only get 8. Because you treat the whole battery as one unit. 9 minus 1, 8. So no, not always 9 volt. You will have lost volts. Because of V lost. D, there will always be a potential difference of 9 volt across the battery terminals. Always? No. Thanks to lost volts. Because for, for batteries like this, um, your terminal potential difference means if I if you look, if you look at the diagram up on the top right, if I measure the potential from across both terminals of the battery from one end to the other, that is what we call terminal potential difference, and it really depends on what the EMF is. This one chemically created. Minus whatever you already lost. So it depends on how much your loss volt is. And the loss volt will depend on current. So no one. Not always nine. Can be less. So the best statement that can apply to all situations is going to be A. Each coulomb battery, coulomb of charge, nine joules to the whole circuit, including internal resistance. 
So that is from energy, chemical energy la, convert to electrical energy. This is a pretty tricky question. Okay, make sure you know the definition of EMF and potential difference. And you'll be okay. Alright, so that's all for this question.